Good morning. Thank you for coming. I'm here to tell you my story about my 13 years as a survivor. In 2004, I began getting headaches, feeling dizzy and nauseated. My headaches got so bad, I felt like someone was pounding me on my forehead with a hammer. I could barely stand it. I had been having these for about one month. I was in a local restaurant having lunch when I had a grand mal seizure. For 35 minutes, I was unresponsive. My husband tried to wake me. He called 911. All I remember is waking up in the hospital. The next day, I went to see my doctor. He felt this was not a normal seizure, and I don't have a history of seizures. He sent me to see a neurologist. My neurologist sent me to have an MRI of the brain. That evening, I was just getting home when the phone rang. It was my neurologist. She told me I had a brain tumor, but because it was so small and I caught it so early, I had a good chance of survival. I couldn't believe it. No, not me. I exercise every day. I eat right. I have learned that no one is immune to cancer. I next went to see my surgeon. He showed me the tumor on the film. It was teeny, teeny, tiny. He also said it was good that I caught it early. He also showed me a video on how to tell your family and your friends that you have a brain tumor and may not survive. This was very, very hard for me. In April, April 23rd of 2004, I had brain surgery. My surgeon could not take out all the tumor. To give me any quality of life, he only took out as much as he could. My tumor was sent to be diagnosed. It came back as a stage four glioblastoma. Glioblastomas are the most aggressive form of a brain tumor. It quickly spreads into healthy surrounding tissue. In just a short time, it had grown so fast. My doctor gave me six months to survive. Three good months, three bad months. He told me to travel because the last three months I would be too sick. I didn't want to travel. I wanted to be home with my family and my friends and those that I loved. I next started radiation. I had radiation for three months every day at 8.30. It made me very tired. After each treatment, I would come home and sleep for hours. I would like to thank the American Cancer Society who picked me up every day and took me to my treatments. All their drivers were so kind. If it was not for them, I would not have been able to have my radiation treatments. After that, I started chemotherapy. I was on chemotherapy for years. I had Timidor, which is specially for brain tumors, and Bastin. They both made me very nauseated. Even with nausea pills, I, will sti I would still throw up most most mornings. I had passed my six month death sentence. I was so, so happy. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. All was going well. I was having MRIs every three months. But because I was doing so well, it was changed to every six months. In December of 2008, I had new growth, new growth in the same area. At this time, because glioblastomas are so aggressive, my doctor gave me six weeks to survive. This was all so, so discouraging. I had been through so much. I wasn't sure if I could do it all a second time. 
But what I remember is what I told myself, to never, never, never give up. There is hope with this heartbreaking illness. I remember seeing all the Christmas lights, thinking this would be my last Christmas. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. It was all so discouraging. I tried to think positive thoughts and think that next year would be a much better Christmas for me. On December 23rd, 2008, I had my second brain surgery. My second surgery was worse than the first. I was in rehab for two weeks. I couldn't walk. I was in a wheelchair. And when I did get to go home, my husband had to do everything for me. He had to bathe me, feed me. It was all so discouraging. I currently am on no chemo, no radiation, I feel good, I'm living a normal, active life. I would like to thank God, my husband who took care of me, my family, my church family, my friends, my colleagues, my cancer support group, and my good doctors. They all have been a vital part of my healing process. I call my story my miracle, my miracle from God, who held my hand, who carried me through, for without him right now, I wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank the American Cancer Society and the National Foundation for Cancer Research for all their hard work I know that one day these fine and dedicated people will find a cure for glioblastoma and many, many other types of cancer. It's patients, donors, advocates like you, and scientists who all play a part in the research for a cure. I would like to thank Danielle Ventura, for setting up this relay. All your donations go towards research for a cure. It's people like Danielle who saved the lives of so many people like me. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you Carmen for sharing your story. I know it takes courage to get up here and share.